So what I've been doing is I've been applying Tesla's magnifier theory to the vortex coils I built. Um, I put my vortex coil in uh, vegetable oil, so now it can't make ozone anymore. Um, same driving circuit as before, except now I've added a resonator. Um, <clears throat> and I'll just show it working. Um, so we are going to turn it on. We're using about 45 volts, 2 amps, give or take. Um, now it's called a Tesla magnifier. Um, there's a lot of notes on here, but basically this is the voltage we get um, off of just the coil. It has trouble staying in tune. It's really, really finicky. But <clears throat> so now we base feed it into here and this thing acts as a quarter wave resonator and it works so well that we can get sparks that are almost an inch long. So, <clears throat> there's no spark over here, nearly close to that, and we're putting in 45 volts and we're getting almost 30,000 volts out over here. Um, <clears throat> so this is a way of essentially putting energy into the environment and not letting it go back into the transformer. Um, this coil is a free floating coil, it's got a resonant frequency of 250 kilohertz, um, that one's 50 kilohertz and the cool thing is harmonics also make voltage just like tuning forks and the harmonics of sound so <clears throat> basically what this is doing is my driver or the vortex coil is supplying a voltage at a certain frequency and that frequency is all dependent on the inductance and blah 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 conventional stuff <clears throat> But when you take this frequency and you give it a physical structure to vibrate with, um, so what I mean to say is if you take the speed of the light and divide it by the frequency of the driver, 50 kilohertz, you get the wavelength. The wavelength, 6,000 meters. So if there's a, a length of wire that was 6,000 meters long, it would develop standing waves on it that would be at, um, you get voltage maximums at one quarter and three quarters of the wavelength. So what this is, is this is a coil with 1500 meters on it, which is one fourth of the wavelength. Therefore, it develops a voltage maximum at the top and a current maximum at the bottom. And because it's not attached to anything, the transmission line is technically mismatched um, with impedance. So the impedance of it's technically infinity, which means that um, if you look up quarter wave or, or transmission line theory, you can find standing wave um, voltage ratios and stuff like that. So basically the voltage transformation that's occurring in the resonator is strictly by standing wave um, voltage ratios. It has nothing to do with the number of windings. So that's where it gets unconventional. but. What it really is doing is um, <clears throat> I could take the secondary and I could put a light bulb across it and I could put the energy in the light bulb directly. Sweet. Well, all the energy is right in the light bulb. If I put the energy into a structure that can resonate, um, that's not in any inductive correlation to my driver, now instead of energy getting stuck in the secondary and reflecting itself back, it can feed itself into this resonator which stores the energy and doesn't have anywhere for it to go except into the ground. Um, so basically when this thing develops high voltages, it develops high currents at the bottom and shoots current into the ground, thus oscillating the sea of electrons all around us. So direct hookup, you're not gonna get, you're gonna get good efficiencies. Um, but when you put energy into the surrounding medium, um, your efficiencies don't make sense anymore because now your electrons are coming from the sea around us and not from your power supply, which is this thing. So basically, the more of these things you have, the more current you can pull and the power here has nothing to do with the power you put in here. So. I hope this clears up a lot of the confusion as far as um, what Tesla is trying to do, um, the efficiencies, um, 
it's not free energy, it's just way more efficient. And uh, if you power this thing with a solar panel, then you can power up a bunch of stuff around your house with the same power that it would take to light up like one light bulb. You could put it into the ground and light a bunch of light bulbs off of the receivers you build. So it's just an idea and it works exceptionally well. Um, you, you basically balance a frequency with a physical structure that it can actually vibrate with. So um, what I like to think about it is uh, this is your guitar string that you pluck and that creates the sound and if you have an acoustic guitar with a resonance chamber on it the sound is allowed to build up in the resonator and it gets louder and it's so loud that when you get high voltages you can transmit energy into the ground and the surrounding medium so I would encourage you to apply the magnifier theory um, because it works exceptionally well and it's kind of like a doorway into understanding how everything has a resonant frequency based on its physical structure and length and that's all really really interesting so <clears throat> thanks for watching and uh more videos to come